Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. When we are told to make a comparison slide, we end up making a slide something like this where I'll just put the team or product A or product B and then I'll just create a simple table where I'll put the whatever the, the speed or whatever the factors and then the percentages and uh, that's it. So this is our slide for comparison. So instead of creating a simple slide, why can't we create a slide something like this where I can using a different uh, infographics here you can see here I put the team A and B and when I click it will show you this is speed which is 90% for team B and its team a is 80% and the strength is 75% and for team A it's 85% and this durability is 45% and here it's 70% and then the adaptability is 85% and here the adaptability is a 90% so it's easy to show the data or compare the data in this particular style so let's see how we can create this comparison slide in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give some dark gray color then right mouse click go to format shape under effects go to 3d rotation and presets select isometric top up you end up getting with this shape and press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to use this one which is isometric right up and i'm going to give some orange color keep it here and press ctrl d to duplicate again and this time i'm going to use uh, this one isometric left down and i'm going to use some dark or blue color and you can see here the shape of a cube is ready so just uh, zoom it and make sure that this is properly aligned now let's uh, do the other shapes then select these three objects press ctrl g to group it go to view enable the guides and bring it in the center then go to insert shapes select our rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much shape and put as a gradient fill and here i'm going to use one with a background color and the other one I'm going to use a black color direction make it this direction and gray color I'm going to make it completely transparent which is 100% and black also I'm going to make a somewhat transparent and shape outline make it no outline and then you can go to the effects under 3d rotation select bottom down and put it here if you want you can reduce the size also and press ctrl d and bring it the other side and this time go to effects i'm going to select this one which is isometric top up and bring this side here Then I'm going to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to give the orange color. And for this, go to effects, 3D rotation. I have to select uh, this option, isometric bottom down and then add it here bring it here uh, 
all right then i'm going to make it go to insert shapes select one more rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and see here the width i have used 0.92 and here also i'm going to use 0.92 shape outline make it no outline and insert one more rectangle and i'm going to place something like this shape outline make it no outline and give different color Control D, I'm going to make or let me just increase the size a little bit. Yeah, press Control D. I'm going to make a bars of this one. Control D and select all these objects. Go to Format, Merge Shape, just say Fragment and then delete one by one so i'm just deleting one by one make sure that you do not delete the only delete this extra lines only all right now i'm going to select all this press ctrl g to group it and go to effects again here under 3d rotation I'm going to select isometric left down and put it here. The size is big. I can just reduce it a little bit. All right. Now I can use this one. Press Ctrl G. to group it and press ctrl D to duplicate and bring it the other side if you want three or four whatever and later on we have to ungroup this you have to make sure that this is properly aligned then I can simply ungroup it because grouping this will we cannot do a good animation with the grouping so i have to ungroup this one so similarly i'm just going to copy this one press ctrl d and change the color to this color and effects for this i'm going to use this one which is isometric top up so i'm just going to place it here and select this ctrl d to duplicate change the color to blue and select this one which is isometric right up and then paste it here and then again you can group together ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate so this will be my second and this will be my third so to just make sure that this is properly aligned then you can add the percentages for example i just want this to be a gray color i'll just go shape fill i'll make it this color and then i'll select other press f4 to get repeated and this one also should be and this will be more so based on your requirement you can adjust this one so here also i'm just going to make it say only this two and here i will just say this one two 
three and this could be only one then you can give the percentages here just add the percentage whatever I will just say this would be the 85 percent make it bold and use the same color and for this also you can go to format text effects you can just set 3d rotation whichever way this is isometric left down again control d add it and this also i'm just going to place it here then i'm going to change the text effect from this to this and with the blue color You can change the percentage. And here also you can type the, I'll just say this is speed. This is also speed. If you want to change the text also you can change it. Or if you want like this, you can just keep it like this also. So once you add all your text, it's time to do the animation. Now you can change the text direction also. You can go to home. You can select the text direction and you can just change it. Or you can just select this and change it once. And this also select and change the direction. Now let's do the animation part. Go to animations, enable the animation pane, select the first one speed and give a wipe effect. Wipe, you have to save from bottom, that's okay. And then I'm going to use these lines. And again, I'm going to give a wipe effect and this should happen after previous. And then you have to animate the percentage. I'll just say fly in fly in i will say from top and this also should happen with uh, or after previous so if i play it comes like this so using the animation painter i'm going to do the other side i'll select this animation painter click on this one then select the lines animation painter and the percentage so I'm going to do one here and the one there. So if I just see here, if I play, this will come and then the, the other side will come, the team A and team B. So again, using the animation painter, I'll just select this and this one. Likewise, you can do the animation for other, all the other objects. So again, I'm select this do this one so you have to do one this side and the other this side let me just do it again and then the percentage then you can do the third or fourth whatever so uh, that's it from me friends uh, this is the best way you can uh, show the a comparison between the products or between the teams uh, you can use this slide which can give you a clear understanding of the comparison. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.